Well, a neutrino uh, is a particle that's outside most people's general experience, but uh, very important in terms of a, a variety of processes in the universe. Uh, there are more of them than any other particles other than photons produced in the, in the Big Bang, and uh, certainly they influence how the universe has uh, evolved. Uh, the question of how large their mass is has an effect on the uh, clumping of material, formation of stars and galaxies. It has, neutrinos have an important part to play in supernova, uh, where uh, they participate in the explosion mechanism, and of course supernova are where all of the elements heavier than iron uh, are produced. So they're important particles, and yet uh, we have known uh, relatively little about them because they're so hard to detect. So they're important in physics, they're also important in astrophysics and cosmology, and uh, that's the reason why the group of people being rewarded with this prize are so interested in this particular particle. Well, there's, there are neutrinos produced in a variety of sources uh, uh, around the world. Uh, they're produced uh, in terms of the ones that are interacting with you, those the most uh, substantial numbers of those come from uh, the nuclear reactions that power the sun. Uh, there are also neutrinos that are left over from all of the supernova that have taken place uh, since the beginning of time. There are neutrinos from the original uh, Big Bang, which are so low in energy that no one has yet figured out how to make a measurement of them, unlike the photons, which have been so wonderful in terms of giving us evidence for how our universe has evolved. And there are neutrinos produced in the atmosphere. There are neutrinos produced in very, very energetic events such as infall into black holes that are now being used for neutrino astronomy by big experiments like uh, the Ice Cube uh, and Antares experiments uh, uh, trying to do neutrino astronomy. On the other hand, in terms of you, uh, perhaps uh, once in your lifetime uh, you might have one neutrino uh, stop in your body and uh, uh, you're not going to be conscious of it. It will do uh, very little uh, to, uh, for you to know that it even has done so. And uh, uh, so neutrinos are basically outside people's general uh, experience and, and uh, uh, therefore uh, uh, that's why we that work in the field are often ca called upon to try to explain that they're not a breakfast cereal. <laughs>